extensors and flexors of the short toe muscles. Short ones run, the flexors run here underneath the plantar fascia, yeah, in the dorsum of the foot, the plantar surface of the foot. On the dorsum on the other side, they run along the top. So over on this foot, here's, here are the short flexors, and here are the short extensors. So go ahead and bring your toes up, and you can see how, pull them up against my hand there for a second. These are the short extensors. Now if I hook into the tissue there and have you curl your toe under, we'll release them. I'm thinking now the top of the foot, the extensors, I'm hooking them under my fingers and he's curling to essentially stretch them out from underneath my anchors. How are we doing? Good. Lengthening that whole tendinous arrangement of little muscles fanning out here into the toes, all the way back up into their upper attachments. Yeah, curling under that one. Right there. Now for the other side, I hook in with my thumbs into those short flexors and have you lift your toes. Reluctant. Yeah. A little more reluctant there, yeah. And let that go. Again, this, this doesn't make a lot of sense until after you've done the plantar fascia. Come on up again. And let that come. And come on up. Everybody see okay? Yeah? We could also combine that with this tool, that technique. Similar to what we're doing there, except we're going to think on a deeper, more specific layer. Of, of individual toes is what we want to get released now. And this, again, is indicated for hammer toes, where both of these sides will be constricted. If for hammer toes, in particular, you can work right up around the joints, too, to release the joint, the little capsules, the fibrous capsules around the joint of the toe themselves, as well as down into those uh, proximal phalange joints. Someone, I had a client who came to me with severe heel pain and really bad hammer toes. Yeah. If, if someone came to you, how many sessions do you think of doing this before you saw I mean, they feel better after yeah. one? The question is how many sessions with some of the severe hammer toes, how long would you take to see improvement? You, they'll notice a change in functioning usually after one session. They'll feel more mobile. In terms of longer term thing, like with my grandfather, who I mentioned is the one I learned, you know, kind of had to figure out how to help him with, it took a bunch of sessions. I worked on him a bunch of times. Uh, half a dozen or so, probably, before he really started to feel like he could get the movement there. And he was in his 90s at the time, so, you know, tissue's slower to respond when someone's that old, too. But it's, you know, you'll, find, you'll notice things right away, but for a longer term change, it can't take repeated repeated sessions for sure. Okay, so those are the short ones, top and bottom. The next one. Since there was Till and two other assistants, you know, there's plenty of feedback um, to get. And, you know, you could also get feedback from my client who's a therapist. Um, you know, how does this feel versus this? You know, does this feel better? You know, I'm, I'm working less and yet you enjoy it more.